Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Okay, in this video today, we are going to be going over how to design the perfect bedroom. So if your bedroom is looking a little drab, a little boring these days, and you're thinking, how can I sort of zhuzh up and kind of make the bedroom a lot more interesting uh, than it currently is, I've got some tips in this video that are gonna really help you upgrade that bedroom and make it a lot more special and interesting. So let's get started with my first tip, which is going to be to add layers of texture into your bedroom. So specifically, let's focus on that bed, right? So you Usually there's a lot of soft textures that are happening there, but so often people sort of buy the kind of bed in the bag or they buy the basic sheet set and they just throw it on their bed and then they're done. And there's not really a lot of contrast in different textures or different layering of textures happening on the bed. And that's something that is a little bit of a miss. If you wanna upgrade your bedroom, if you wanna make your bed feel a lot more special and a lot more interesting, consider adding things like a blanket along the base of your bed or even adding different pillows. I wouldn't go too crazy because, um, I mean, I haven't done a bedroom design mistakes video yet but probably having too many pillows is gonna be on there. Uh, so don't go a little bit too crazy with the pillows. So if you wanna add different texture, like maybe you have cotton sheets, but maybe you wanna look at adding something in linen, or you wanna add like a wool blanket, or you wanna add some fur or faux fur, those are really great options as just sort of ways to add different texture on top of the basic sort of sheet set that you have. It's a small thing, but those different textures just give a different sort of weight and visual component to the room and make it a lot more interesting. Okay, tip number two for designing the perfect bedroom is to to change your sheets. Now, okay, sometimes people can hold on to their sheets a little bit too long, right? Like, I get it. It's kind of like underwear. Like, people hold on to that stuff for way longer than they probably should. Change your sheets. You spend a third of your time in that bedroom. When you think of your sheets, really stop and think for a second about how long you stay there for, and maybe you might want to consider swapping them out. Try something new. I actually touched on this in my spring cleaning video. Just swap out those old sheets. Get something new, something a lot more luxurious. You might just enjoy nicer, higher quality sheets, but it is going to make a visual impact because nothing, no matter what I say in this video, is going to torpedo your plans of having the perfect bedroom, quite like dirty, gross sheets that probably needed to go five, seven, ten years ago or whatever. And that, by the way, is an amazing segue, almost like I planned it, for today's sponsor, which is Brooklinen. So if you're not familiar with Brooklinen, they are an online retailer of super high quality, luxurious sheets sheets and other bedroom essentials. So they actually sell directly through their website. So they cut out the middleman of a typical retailer. So you get access to really high quality bedding, but at a much lower price point than you would for comparable products at your typical retailer. So right now you actually get $20 off when you spend hundred bucks on Brooklinen's website. So these are my favorite sheets. If now is the time for you to upgrade, I would consider snagging a deal while you're here. But I think it's also really good to talk about price point when we're talking about quality bedding, um, because I think it's, you just have to be honest about the fact that luxury, beautiful, wonderful bedding is a little bit more expensive. The nice part about going with Brooklyn in though is that you get access to really beautiful, high quality bedding, but it is a more affordable price point, which I love because you know I'm all about getting high quality stuff, but if you can snag a bit of a deal, I'm all about it. I actually got the Lux Hardcore Bundle in graphite, which I absolutely love. That includes a core sheet set, some extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. And you also save 25% buying the bundle over the individual items. They have lots of different color combinations for you to check out. You can sort of combine a bunch of different ones, which is really neat. So feel free to check those out and thank you Brooklyn in for sponsoring this video. Okay, so my next tip on how to design the perfect bedroom is to play with asymmetry. So first kind of let's explain symmetry and asymmetry. So symmetry is when two sides sort of match each other and they're identical, which if you think of a bedroom, if you slice down right down the middle of the bed, you can see that a bedroom lends so well to symmetry. It's probably the most symmetrical room probably in your home. Um, and that can be really interesting. So if you actually favor more of a traditional style, you might really enjoy that symmetry because that's sort of a really hallmark of traditional design. If that is your design style, that might work for you. But I sometimes think that it's worth considering playing with a little bit more of an asymmetrical approach. So if you think of the bed, you've got one singular bed in the middle. You might have the two nightstands on the side. You might have two lamps on top or desk lamps or pendants coming down, which we'll talk about in a second. And then at the foot of the bed, you might even have a bench. All of that sort of really plays into something that is really symmetrical and sort of really balanced. But let's think of how you can still keep it balanced while maybe just kind of off setting it a little bit and to create a space that's a little bit more interesting because although symmetry as I said in a traditional design might work for you and that might make sense 
Sometimes there's an opportunity to sort of mix it up and play with asymmetry a little bit in the bedroom, and it's worth considering because if done correctly, where it's still balanced, it can make your bedroom seem a lot more interesting and a lot more dynamic. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple examples just to prove my point, okay? So here's a photo here of a typical bedroom that you would see. So as you can see, you've got the nightstands, the bed, you've got everything. It's all very, very symmetrical. It's nice, it's beautiful, it works. You could stop here, you totally can. But I do think sometimes there is an opportunity to play with it to make it a little bit more interesting. So now let's look at this other bedroom. There's this black bedroom here that I absolutely adore. I've showed this photo before because I absolutely love this bedroom. But let's look at the fact that you've taken something where you've got the bed in the middle, you still have those nightstands, but notice that it is still balanced. You can still see on the left side of the photo and the right side that there's still visual weight to both sides of the room. But I think it's kind of a lot more interesting because they have still kind of played with balance, but it's not perfectly symmetrical. There are interesting pieces happening on both sides of the room. You've still got those two side chairs on either side of the room, so they are able to provide sort of a nice visual balance to each other, but they are different, right? Like they still belong in the same room, but it still creates sort of an asymmetrical feel. The next obvious spot, of course, is those pendants. You've got one pendant on the other side, but then you have two on the other side. I still think with having sort of the task lamp and the chair on the other side, it still creates for a really balanced space. But what it does is it just makes it a little bit more interesting because you've got varying heights in those pendants and it just makes the space feel asymmetrical, but more interesting than it would have been, I think, if you had just hung those two basic pendants. Not that there's anything wrong with that either. I just think if you want to zhuzh up your bedroom, make it a little bit more interesting and a bit more dynamic, think about playing with asymmetry. It can really do wonders to upgrading and make a really interesting space. Okay, so tip number four to how to create the perfect bedroom is to really invest in some nightstands. So I'm a big fan of nightstands because I just think they are very functional in a bedroom. Chances are you're going to want a glass of water or to put your phone. I mean, you should probably keep your phone in the other room. Isn't that what we're all supposed to do? But like, are we really doing that? Like my phone's next to my bed. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, so you've got a place to put your phone. You've got a place to put maybe a glass of water, a book, uh, your glasses, whatever. You're going to need sort of a space to put your things next to the bed. And on top of that, not only is it functional, but I just think it looks really elegant and it sort of really elevates the room by not just having a basic bed that just sort of sits in the center, but to have these two nightstands sort of frame. Again, they just create that really perfect balance in the bedroom. Now, some of you might be saying right now, yes, but I really cannot afford to put space for the nightstand. And I totally understand there are some really beautiful grand nightstands that look gorgeous in these really beautiful grand bedrooms that I personally have never been able to have. But there are also really gorgeous slim ones. I actually have a really slim one here that I got from CB2. By the way, any products are linked in the description. And so I've got this really cool slim one that actually is just slim enough that it works really well in my bedroom. Another alternative if you're thinking, no, Nick, I really can't even fit a slim nightstand, but you still want to be able to have that function, consider just a little wall shelf. There's some beautiful ones out there. I've got one here linked from Article, which is great. You know what you really can't go wrong with? And this is what I actually did in my first 500 square foot apartment. It's just a really simple, basic lack shelf. Just a really lack shelf from Ikea is just, I think it's like five, 10 bucks or something. It's nothing. It's really, really slim, really sleek. And again, it just gives you a little bit of balance in that room, but you're able to have a little space that you can store some things that you need next to your bed. So if you can't go for a full nightstand, I would say just go for a really small shelf. It's just going to really set off the space and make it look a lot more interesting than just leaving all your stuff on the floor, which is not how you create a perfect bedroom. Okay, next tip on how to create the perfect bedroom is to add a rug. So a rug is oftentimes a forgotten piece. People think of the rug in the living room, but they forget that sometimes it can be really great to put a rug in the bedroom. What it does is it actually does a couple of things. First of all, I think it's always nice, especially if you have hardwood floors, that when you get out of bed, it is kind of nice in the bedroom where you're spending a lot of your time that you have something really soft and luxurious underfoot. I just think it makes the place look and feel a lot more comfortable. But the second thing it does is kind of see tip one. It's another way for you to add other texture into your home. So you're able to create sort of a barrier between usually the hard surface of what you're using in your bed and the hard surface if you have hardwood floors under your bed. So it just creates kind of another opportunity to add a little bit more texture into the space to make it feel a little bit more luxurious. Again, it just really grounds the space and it just starts from the bottom up to create those layers of texture that makes the space feel a lot more interesting. Okay, next tip on how to create the perfect bedroom is to add task lighting. So we've talked about symmetry earlier. This is another opportunity for you to create symmetry or maybe to add some asymmetry like I showed in that previous photo. But don't forget about task lighting, specifically looking at those table lamps 
or the floor lamps that you have next to your bed. So you have several options here. I think if you have the option, one of my favorites that I think is always beautiful is to add wall sconces or even pendants hanging from the ceiling. That is a little bit more of a challenging, like almost like a big renovation that you would be doing. So you have a few different options to create task lighting in the bedroom. So um, I would say the easiest and simplest is to just use a table lamp. So again, if you have invested in a nice nightstand, I would recommend putting in a table lamp there because that is just a really nice way for you to read a book or whatever you're going to be doing just before bed. So I would say having a task light there is really important and the simplest, easiest one to use is probably going to be for to do a floor lamp if you don't have a nightstand or you have a shelf or to use something like a table lamp. The next option I would say would be something like a wall sconce. If you can do a wall sconce, it's really beautiful. It gets that lighting up and off the nightstand and onto the wall, which is a little bit more work. It's a little bit more cumbersome, more challenging, obviously, than just putting a light on a stand, but it can be create a really beautiful way to add task lighting into your space. The third and probably the most involved, because now you're dealing with the ceiling, is hanging pendant lights. So if you're doing a full renovation or a new build, you may want to consider putting in pendant lights on either side of your bed. It really puts that lighting up and out of the way, which I think is a lot more convenient and it's just a lot more special. And again, you're getting all the benefits of having the task light, but it's just really super, you know, up and out of the way from the rest of the nightstands and sort of kind of out of your face a little bit. But don't forget that even if you don't have those options, maybe you're renting, maybe you don't want to go through the hassle of putting electrical in your walls or on your ceiling, getting a really beautiful desk lamp or floor lamps is a really important thing to creating sort of some visual interest in the space while also being able to accomplish the task of reading or whatever just before bed. Okay, my next interior design tips on creating the perfect bedroom would be to add some seating. So this, I'll be honest with you, is a luxury that I personally have never had in my primary bedroom, but maybe you do. So what can be really elegant is, and I'm sure you've seen this in magazines and on websites because it is gorgeous, is when you are able to put a lovely bench at the base of your bed. But if you don't have the room to put that bench at the end of your bed, also maybe even consider putting in something like a nice ottoman in the corner. Basically what we're trying to do is a couple of things. So first of all, you can create a space that is really functional because you're able to sit on that bench or the ottoman for putting on socks or shoes or whatever you need to do. So that's really great. They also create a nice storage option. So you can usually open up those ottomans or those benches. Those are really my, my favorite picks because you can open them up and then you can use them for storage, which I think is really great. And the third reason is that it creates an opportunity to add color and texture in the space. Something that, you know, is you've heard me say in this video about 10 times now, because I just think it's a really great, important thing to make a room feel more interesting. So you can do that with an ottoman, you can do that with a bench, but just adding some seating is a really nice, luxurious thing, I think, to add to a bedroom if you have the room for it, which I never do, but maybe you do. Okay, keeping with that same idea is to add storage. So storage is so important in the bedroom because this is one of the spaces. You have all these clothing items that you need to find a home for. Maybe they're spilling out from the closet and they need a place to go and you need to store them up and out of the way so they're not just flung onto the bed, right? So that's where that bench and that ottoman can come in handy. Another great thing that I personally am a big fan of is to store things neatly under the bed. So you might have storage compartments or things that you can put underneath your bed. If your bed is super low, you won't be able to do that. But if it's a little bit higher, you can just store different systems. The one I use is actually from Ikea. It's really great. You can just open up these little plastic bins. You can store a whole bunch of stuff. So your winter stuff or your summer stuff, depending on your season, uh, you can throw all that in there. You can hide it and then you can just put it under the bed. So I think having a space for you to store all those temporary items, um, whether it's in a bench at the end of your bed, whether it's under your bed, whether it's in an ottoman, whatever, Ever is a really good idea and just really upgrades your bedroom. Okay, my next tip is going to be to add a mirror. Now, my first choice here would be to add a floor mirror. If you can get away with a floor mirror, I think that's a really good idea. And the reason for that is the function of being able to check out your outfit before you leave, right? You gotta make sure that you look good. And sometimes a floor mirror is just really the best way to be able to do that. So you can check yourself out from head to toe. So a floor mirror is a really good idea. If you can't, I would say having a wall mirror is another great option as well, but it's really great if you can include a mirror in your space. So first is the function of being able to see yourself while you get ready in the morning. That's really important. And the second reason of course, is that mirrors are fantastic for opening up small spaces. So they really do a great job of opening up the space because that sort of tricks the eye into thinking the room 
room is bigger than it is. So I love a floor mirror, but you know, different mirrors are great options as well. They really open up the space and functionally, they're really important in a room where you're going to be probably getting ready for the day and that is going to be your bedroom. So I highly recommend finding some place to put a mirror in your room. Okay, my next tip for you all is to stick to warm light. So I have talked about this in my lighting video that I did recently, but although I'm usually a bigger fan of warm light in general in the home, I think that it is extremely important in the bedroom. So I wanna go into a little bit more about your circadian rhythm in this one because I think it's really important in the bedroom. So what I mean by circadian rhythm is, I mean, this is getting all sciencey here, which is a little bit out of my depth, but it makes sense. So when you have lighting in your home that is daylight balanced, that is going to signal to your eye, to your brain, to whatever, that it is daylight. If you have really warm lighting, that is sort of mimicking something like a sunset, something that you would see at the end of your day before the sun goes down. So again, we're getting into the sciencey stuff here, which is a little out of my depth, but warmer light is going to be really important in the bedroom because that is the light that you're going to need to signal to your body that it is time to go to bed. If you are sitting there in your bedroom and you flick on your lights and you're about to go to bed and you've got your phone in your face and it's got this blue light and you've got all this blue cool light in your bedroom, it is not signaling to your brain that this is a time for rest. This is a time for you to go to bed. So of all the rooms in your home to put warm light, the bedroom I think is the most important. Okay, that's it for me for today, you guys. Again, thank you to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this video. If you wanna click on the link in the description, remember you get $20 off if you spend $100 on their website. I'm also gonna link here for my interior design mistakes playlist. I've done living room design mistakes and kitchen design mistakes and I will be doing bedroom fairly soon. So thanks a lot and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, bye.